Want to quickly and easily get your first 100 users for your microsas without spending any money or having any marketing experience? Then you've got two options. The first way is spend weeks researching Reddit, X, LinkedIn, blog articles, podcasts and YouTube channels for hacks, trying out a bunch of methods and in the end wasting a few months and thousands or even ten thousands of dollars with zero results. Been there, done that. The second way is to focus on things I've personally tested with proven results and on strategies that seem legit and have delivered real results for other founders. Things you can try for yourself. Let's go! From day one you have to give your product to 10 users for free and incentivize them to test it. Your offer should sound like I'll give you the product for free in exchange for your feedback. If they provide feedback, it stays free. If not, then they have to pay. How did I find these 10 users? I used Reddit, especially the SaaS and Entrepreneur subreddit. I reached out to everyone I know, asked friends for referrals, messaged people on emails and X, and posted on my Telegram channel and YouTube. People love free products. So, set up one-on-one -on -one conversations with your early adopters, get their feedback on your product, improve it, and turn them into your first loyal customers. Then ask for feedback you can feature on your website. Also, ask if they are part of any communities or if they are admins of groups where you could promote your product for free. I've gotten a positive response 70% of the time from these conversations. So I asked my free users to post about me in their Slack groups and Telegram channels and I got one client from there. It was a long conversation with a lot of questions, a one-on-one -on -one call. but. In the end, the guy purchased my product. If you want to quickly launch your microsas, test your idea fast, get your first rejection or make your first money, I recommend creating a system that allows you to test ideas consistently without relying on luck. I created this service for myself first and then shared my microsas with the market. This is microsas fast, an XGS boilerplate and a microsas starter kit that already includes a landing page, UI components, user authentication, one-time payments and subscription with Stripe, a blog, SEO and more. If you want to test your ideas quickly, like I did, and not put all your eggs in one basket, click the link in the description and start building your microsas empire today. Next, if you've seen my videos before, you know that I'm against free plans. I'm talking about the freemium model, not about your first 10 free users. As indie hackers, we don't have the backing or venture capital funds. We can afford to sell for free or at very low prices. However, creating a small free tool can be a powerful way to drive traffic and eventually sell your service to loyal customers. A great example of this is Dan Kulkov and his founder Paul, which achieved over 100k in annual recurring revenue in just 10 months. Dan and his team focused on creating free tools, which helps them attract an audience to their main product. FounderPal is a service that helps you create a marketing strategy quickly and it includes a wide range of AI marketing tools. For example, it offers tools like the business idea validator, slogan generator and more all free for users. Use Dan's concept for your own product. Take one micro function and build a great free tool around it. Publish it on Twitter, Product Hunt, Reddit and Hacker News. Create a video about the product for YouTube and other social media platforms. Submit to several directories. By the way, you can easily create an AI agent to solve your personal problem or an issue for your audience. The Business Idea Validator is just a simple landing page with ChatGPT agents running in the background. You can set up something like this up yourself in just a couple of hours. Just remember that the key is to use complex, detailed and well-tested prompts for your ChatGPT assistant. This approach will help you attract your first interested customers and make initial sales to those who already benefited from your product. By the way, your free tool can be a GitHub repository, 
a Google Doc with useful information, and a URL to your main products, a Notion page, Google Spreadsheet, basically anything. You don't even need a code sometimes. Keep that in mind. Next, cold outreach can be an effective way to get your first customers if you have no money. Send personalized DMs, emails or LinkedIn messages to your potential clients and start getting their attention. When I was running my DJI video streaming startup, I sent out 50 messages on LinkedIn every day to connect and start conversations with users. Within a couple of months, I had scheduled more than 100 calls with potential clients. And I got the only customer who paid me those $800. But now you can be even smarter and more effective by using personalized offers and Loom videos featuring your product. A great example of Loom's video strategy is Christian. In the end of 2022, this approach helped him reach 100k in monthly recurring revenue in just 4 months. He sent personalized Loom videos to his potential audience, explaining how his product could solve their pain points, how it works, and what the results of collaboration could be. This strategy is still effective and gives the results. Here are a few tips from Christian on recording and sending Loom videos. First, if you're not ready to spend 8 hours a day recording personalized videos for each client, just ask. Can I send you a detailed video about my product? If the potential client replies yes, record a personalized video addressing their specific pain point. If the client isn't as interested, send them a pre-recorded long video. Second, keep the video between 3 to 5 minutes long and always include a call to action at the end before sending. Ensure that the video truly provides value. Third, embed the video in your email and include catchy timestamps with description. Timestamps will help boost engagement and increase the likelihood that the receipt will watch the entire video. Timestamps will help boost engagement and increase the likelihood that the user will watch the entire video. Next, creating your own directory is another effective way to attract targeted traffic. Showcase your product on the home page and become a go-to resource for a large audience. If your directory offers value, you will quickly build a group of loyal users who are likely to become your first customers. Take inspiration from John Rush, who created resources like allgpts.co, a collection of popular GPT models, or startuptools.com, a toolkit for startups, among others. These resources attract significant traffic, provide value to the audience, and allow John to earn additional income while promoting his products. Your goal is to create a space where users will return for information and solutions. Just take your niche, take one micro problem and create a directory for potential solutions, people or businesses who can solve this problem. You can easily publish your directory on platforms like Product Hunt, X and LinkedIn to get your initial traffic. After that, focus on technical SEO to improve your domain rating. The more valuable content you have for your micro niche, the higher your chances of attracting traffic from search engines. More traffic means new users for your microsas. I think you understand who will be the star of your directory. Guys, if you want to learn more about microsas AI monetization, getting customers for your business and ask your questions during live chats, please hit that like button and subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Another effective way to attract your first customers is by creating alternative SEO articles. Write 10 to 15 of these articles to gain your first 100 users. Compile a list of alternatives placing your SaaS at the top or create comparisons that highlight why your product is better than your competitors. While reading these articles, users are already in the decision-making process, so a well-crafted article can make the sale for you. I fully trust Greg Digneo's advice from Content Guppy. They have an excellent example of an alternative article titled The 22 Best Ahrefs Alternatives Free and Paid or an article Ahrefs vs. SEMrush 
which is the best tool. On one of his podcasts, he's mentioned that this method brings them a huge amount of traffic and clients. These articles are effective because they respond to users' needs and motivate them to take an action, as users searching for these types of article are already in the final stage of their purchase decision. Next, connect with YouTube creators in your niche. Cheat code. Look for small to medium-sized blogs or channels relevant to your field. Reach out to creators on YouTube and tell them about your product. Make a personalized offer or suggest that they try your service for free. Convince them that your product will be valuable to their audience and motivate them to share it. I like a case from Reddit. A user who details how he sent videos of his product to niche bloggers on YouTube and afterwards was able to get recommendations on one channel. One of those videos went viral and drove a significant amount of traffic to his site. Thanks to a partnership program, he earned over 20,000 euros in monthly recurring revenue. For example, I'm currently testing several projects and plan to create a free video about these tools in the future. Because I like the product and I believe it will be relevant and interesting to my audience. Cheat code. Use positive feedback from YouTube creators in your marketing strategy. This will help you attract new audiences. By the way, if you want to learn more about MicroSaaS and join the community of solo entrepreneurs, follow me on X where I host a live chat with my audience and help them launch and monetize their startups. Despite different options, Product Hunt and its analogs are still a good way to attract the first customers to your SaaS. You can use platforms like Project Hunt or find Project Hunt alternatives like SaaS Hub, Bitlist, Indie Hackers, Hacker Noon, and many, many more free alternatives where you can launch your micro SaaS. Recent launch success stories includes one from Dennis Adrians and his product rank fast. This service was launched just a week ago. After posting on Product Hunt, he shared the results on Reddit. In the first three hours, the site received over 180 visitors and 40 new customers. But it's important to realize that the competition on these platforms is quite high and many use paid a boat. So it's important not only to launch on Product Hunt, but also to do a launch on its analogs to increase your reach. Look, do you know what's most important? It's building a reusable marketing system, reusable coding system like my MicroSaaS Fast and becoming a full stack entrepreneur. Join me on this journey and let's conquer the SaaS world together. See you.